Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to our Tennessee property. Today we're doing more work because, well, that's just what we're gonna be doing out here forever. What are we gonna do today? We are going to start clearing out the area that is going to be the workshop, which I guess you could kind of call the greenhouse workshop. Yep, the greenhouse workshop. Also, probably a little bit of the area that the soap shed is going to move to. Mm -hmm. And the area where we're gonna be building our off-grid solar panel array. Oh yeah. All in one area. Awesome stuff. <laughs> so what are we starting with? Well, I have already kind of behind the scenes started taking out some of the vines, some of the trees. Shame, shame. The camera wasn't rolling. But for the fun part, we are now bringing in power tools. <laughs> yes. We have the trail mower that Sam is going to run over the area because it is riddled with vines. I can't tell you how many times I've almost tripped walking through this area. Yeah, same here. So we're gonna go ahead and use it to mow it all down. We do have a push mower, but it's not gonna cut it for this. There are some limbs and stuff like that. So we wanna bring out the big boy for this. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Angela's using our Craftsman cordless pole saw over there to take a bunch of limbs off the trees and things. I'm going to use my Still MS-170 chainsaw and go ahead and cut the stumps and probably go ahead and drop this other little tree so we can keep moving on with our progress. I'm going to let you guys follow me along for a little bit of stump cutting action. I have picked the spot where I want to put this solar array system on our property. It's going to be over here behind our camper and in an area that eventually will be between our carport tent, which is over there, and where the workshop will be and the soap shed. And I believe that the solar panels will be able to live here long term with the plans we have in mind right now. That being said, I'm going to install this 
in a way that it can be easily removed, aka no concrete with the posts in the ground and everything assembled with screws. So in the future, if we decide to upgrade our solar array, which we will, or if we decide to move it, which we might, we can do that and still be able to reclaim the materials easily and not just kill ourselves trying to unbuild the city of Rome. The goal for the construction is easy peasy and cheap, as cheap as possible at least. I'm using off the shelf lumber from a hardware store, four by four treated posts, eight feet long, two by six treated boards, eight feet long, and hopefully we've got enough to make something that works well for the short term, the long term, and is solid and great. So we've got everything laid out here. The first thing to do is set our first posts. By the time I get that post set, it should be solar noon. And I'll talk to you guys about that when the time comes. So let's get that first post set. Then we'll talk about solar noon because that's important with your solar arrays. That's not working very well. Try a trick that one of you viewers told me. Put some water in the hole, soften up the dirt. We'll see how that works. Well, this is not the sign of success. Well, that was a great failure. <laughs> I dug a hole and I filled it back in. So yeah, I guess I built a little character, right? We got 10 minutes till solar noon, my watch is going off. <sighs> we'll be able to do this without doing the post. I'll show you guys that trick. At this point, since my digging of a hole experiment was a failure, I think what I'm going to do is change gears. I'm going to adapt and make this solar array mount floating on top of the soil. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Well, I'm working with what I got and I think it's still gonna work out fine. So let's go ahead and change gears. See if I have enough lumber or what and honestly show you guys solar noon here next okay let's talk about solar noon sam what in the world is solar noon good question solar noon is that special time of day where the sun is at its highest point in the sky this is the angle you want your solar panels facing this angle is going to vary depending on where you live in the world but the concept is the same around the world. Since the sun shines everywhere on the world, it'll work everywhere on the world. There's a link to a website down below, which I found to be the best after my research to give you your local solar noon time frame, along with your altitude and azimuth angles and everything else you may want. I'll put a link to that down below. 
what I'm going to do is go ahead and orient and mark myself solar noon here on our property. Now, since the sun is always changing, I have to use some things that will not change to keep that angle as I build this array mount. For that, I have two simple step-in fence posts, little you know sticks you stick in the ground, and then I have a ratchet strap, green. Basically, I'm gonna have point A, point B, and then a string line between the two to give myself a constant visual marker and reference line that I can measure off of. To put things in place, you put the post up front, the one facing closest to the sun, then tie your rope to it, put your rope on the other end of the second post, and then move it left and right until your string line is exactly in line with the shadow. There you have it, easy peasy, one, two, three easy. Solar Noon has been found and marked, and as long as no one moves those sticks or that ratchet strap rope, I will not have to be as concerned about getting this project done on a timely manner because it is locked in place. That is my reference point for Solar Noon. The reason I went through this whole rigmarole of finding Solar Noon is because I want my solar panels facing directly south with the sun, high noon, Face them straight on. That's going to maximize the solar input and is really the best thing to do in this scenario. Sure, I could probably just have oriented them with magnetic south and been close enough, but what's the point of making a video like this if I don't have the opportunity to share with you guys and teach you what solar noon is, how to find it, and what it's for, versus just slapping some solar panels up and behind a camper and saying, well, there you go. At this point, my next step is to go ahead and begin building the frame of the array. And since I had no luck at all digging the hole in the ground without hitting some massive tree roots, I mean, obviously, I'm going to build this as a freestanding floating solar array, meaning it's gonna stand on its own frame, be on top of the ground. I will have to anchor it to the ground, but this is also gonna give me the cool added benefit of as we develop this property, as our plans change, as I want to do this, that, and the other, I can move this array wherever I want. Pretty cool. So, win-win. My method for building this array was honestly to keep it as basic as possible. Just stick with simple joinery, just one type of hardware, which are three inch long exterior grade screws, and just put everything together as easily and quickly as possible while maintaining the strength and overall rigidity of the stand itself. I had a little bit of a rough sketch in my notebook as far as what I wanted, but largely, this is a wing it as you go project. I knew what angles the panels need to be whenever it's all done and said, or said and done. And then I also knew what kind of materials I had to work with. From there, it was just a matter of building the front and back, we'll say horizontal boards, and then framing it together and putting our top boards on. We are right here at the beginning of December, which means the sun is at the lowest angle for our area. What I'm gonna to do to find my steep part of the angle is I'm holding the board up until I find my 30 degree inclination, which matches with the 60 degrees straight towards the sun. I'm then marking it with a pencil, measuring from the bottom up to the top from the rails, and then repeating it over here on this other side. Since I'm working with a non-level structure, I'm using dimensions pulled from itself to make sure everything's correct with the frame itself.
Well, that took a little bit longer than expected, but it always does, right? There you go. There is our rough framing of our solar array mount. And I say very rough because it is very rough. You would normally not lock everything down like I did if your goal is to have it set on any angle other than your median altitude for the year. But for our case right now, I needed it done faster than I had the time to get all fancy and everything. And it is the dead of winter, so might as well put it at that angle. And as the seasons change and our angle changes, we can adjust it. And I'll have a little bit of time then to come up with a nice cool pivoting feature. So that is the frame done, and honestly, that's also it for this video. I'm going to have to tease you guys a little bit of cliffhanger because the next part of this, as far as trimming the tops of the posts and then putting the panels on, is going to be a project in and of itself. So sit tight for that next part. If you have any questions or comments on this frame, leave them for us down below. Otherwise, take care, and we'll see you guys next time on the homestead.